how many organs can you live without? Let's start with the easy ones. Your appendix helps fight bad gut bacteria, so it's not useless, but let's chuck it. We can also take out your gallbladder, as your liver still makes enough bile to digest your food and can even help cover for your spleen if we take that out too. What about the big players? We can't remove your liver completely, as your body will stop breaking down toxins and put you in a coma. If you were healthy, we could cut out 70% of it and it'd soon regenerate, except yours is already covering for lost organs. But we can take one kidney, no problem. Around 40% of kidney transplants come from live donors who live long, healthy lives after. And while blood is pretty vital, we can take up to 20% of it along with 10% of your bone marrow. It only takes around three weeks for marrow and around six for red blood cells to regenerate. We could take more, but it's probably a bad idea after everything we took, and there are some organs you really can't do without. Stop your heart, and your brain cells start dying within five minutes. But even this is possible if we get a machine to pump your blood. We can give you a new one we stored in this machine that keeps it beating outside the body for up to 12 hours. Sew the new one in, reset it with a jolt, and you're good to go.